Atmospheric pressure decreases with altitude. So, as an air parcel is forced to rise, it expands. The expanded parcel cools, not from loss of heat energy, but because energy is dispersed over the larger volume. Temperature changes resulting from pressure changes are called adiabatic. An adiabatic process does not gain or lose energy from the surrounding environment. The ability of air to hold water vapor is temperature dependent, so moisture will condense when air is cooled to the dew point. As condensation begins, latent heat is released. As it rises farther, the air parcel continues to cool by expansion, but it cools at a slower rate, the wet adiabatic rate. The rate of cooling decreases as condensation continues because the cooling is partially counteracted by the release of latent heat from within. When an air mass is forced downward through higher atmospheric pressure, it is compressed and warmed. Descending air warms at the dry adiabatic rate. Raising the temperature by compression makes the air relatively drier. Note that the air parcel is now warmer than when it started. This is the effect of latent heat released into the air mass because of condensation.